what speaks to me about this play? I'd say the fact that it's exaggerated isn't is actually quite funny, but it's actually quite true because Pacoima is a very special city and a lot of crazy things happen around here. And so the exaggeration of it is actually quite true and I find it hilarious. I like the dichotomy that's being played with in the play, that like you have to choose between it's all good and it's all bad, and really it's both, and oftentimes it's more good than bad. I really love how it deals with the sort of binary between goodness and badness within one place. Whenever really bad things happen, what good can come out of that down the line, even if it's really far and even if you have to work through a lot of pain? The balance between trying to make a better life for yourself and seeing what's right in front of you that does make your life better. I can understand someone wanting to better their lives and find something better for the kids and you know have a better environment to live in, but what's wrong with just bettering the community that you grew up with, in, excuse me, grew up in, and not having to move away, maybe to some place where people don't really like you or accept you. You know, you could be accepted in your community and uh, make that community better. What really uh, got to me, I guess, was uh, knowing that uh, the parents didn't let the kids out and that was for a good reason and, and that is true because you know and I think in our city it, it, it's beautiful and it's friendly at times but it's real ugly at the same time. I think as, as the youth helps out and you know goes in their community and tries to change it or the community will change and your city will, will beautify.